Dude, that move is good. It's real good. Dude, it feels like I'm getting hit by a train when you go to the When you switch to the pie fry. Yeah, it feels like whiplash. I'm gonna put some testimonials in on this. <laughs> Man, when Adam was teaching this instructional, it really hurt. Like emotionally, he's very abusive. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, so now that we have a basic entry by faking and reaching towards the head and legs to create our basic attachment from the high single leg, and we have one finish running the pipe, we need to start developing other finishes. We need to start chaining our finishes together, all right? So what happens if our partner is really athletic, strong, and they're just not going down? We're running the pipe, we're putting a lot of pressure, but the size disparity is just too great and they're not going down, all right? I have to change directions. So I'm in on the leg, I've already created my attachment. I'm trying to run him down, run him down. He's just not going down, he's just not going down. I'm going to now change directions and run behind him as I split my grip, putting his hands on the mat. I get his weight moving into me, his hips moving into me here. They're moving towards me with my shoulder pressure. Then I'm going to split my hands. My outside hand grips above the knee, right at the bend of the knee. And then my inside hand extends down to the knee, okay? Or just above it. Anywhere here is fine, right? I'm going to shoulder down. So my hand straightens and my shoulder, and again, this leg has to stay tight. It's just as if I'm holding it with two hands. I split and this stays tight. My far hand, my grip, palm down on the knee, and now I'm going to shoulder down. So my shoulder has to push his inside hip down. So he has a reason to put his hands on the mat. Think, and on the leg, circle, circle, split my hands. I create an attachment. I use my fake, my reach entry to clear his hands out of the way. I get him moving towards me. Ah, he's not going down, so I'm going to unleash my grip, but keep his leg close. Here, shoulder down, climb above the leg, football, tap. He reacts, I step in, get out of the leg, circle him, get him off balance, he's not going down. Realistically, all I need is two of these. One, two, then I switch. This back arm goes far, and I'm gonna circle to his butt. If you don't circle to his butt, good guys aren't gonna go down. So I'm pulling his leg in, this arm shoots across, and I circle to his butt. Matt puts his hands on the mat. Climb the leg, hand over hand. Shoulder in the gluteal fold. Hands down by the knees as I football tackle down. <laughs> 